Hello my Soccer Universe 2 video number 700 since I started this channel. 700. Pretty amazing. Well, pretty amazing was maybe not what I would use to describe the games that I watched yesterday because uh, there were not that many goals. The games themselves were not bad. I will talk about those. I watched Poland Austria on the main screen and uh, Northern Ireland Germany on the side screen. But overall um, I have to say uh, if I look at other results, uh, there might have been better games to watch than those two, uh, if you go just by uh, goals scored. We have groups C, E, G and I. So let's start in group C, where uh, the Netherlands continue their winning form. At Estonia, I think Rian Babel, now I remember him, scored the first two goals. Uh, one right after the half. And yeah. The best goal came from Memphis Depay and the last one from Giorgino Vinaldum. Again, yes, now the striking force, if you want, um, is scoring. I still think that they need to, in order to be really convincing, they need uh, better strikers up front. Northern Ireland against Germany was a slightly different affair because the Northern Irish I will call, still call them Irish, um, actually gave Germany early on a lot of trouble and Germany still had to recover from their kind of defensive errors that they uh, made against the um, Netherlands. And uh, while there were no, there was one a good chance for Northern Ireland, but it, uh, there was not really this uh, great chance. And I always had the feeling then, especially later on, that Germany might actually score. I think the first 20, 20 minutes, I mean, again, I had my focus on another game but I was always looking at first I saw Northern Ireland attacking then Germany um, kind of seemed to take over uh, they got their breakthrough um, very early in the second half through a wonderful goal really great uh, I don't know if it was, was, was a volley strike but Halstenberg just at least one times it and puts it really nicely into the net in the 48th and from that moment on I really saw a lot of German attacks uh, that just didn't go in and it was almost too many chances wasted yes Northern Ireland came and had their you know the more Germany missed the more Northern Ireland got back into the game and they had again some minor chances but I think Germany in the end wins it uh, with a Gnabry goal in stoppage time 2-0. So in the group now Germany and Northern Ireland are level on points however they have one game more than the Netherlands who is sitting at nine points and I think the Netherlands hold the tie break uh, at least over Germany they have not played Northern Ireland yet. The schedule in this group is really weird because Northern Ireland up until yesterday only played against Belarus and Estonia that's where they got the 12 points now they have to play the Germany and the Netherlands and yeah they the next round will be Netherlands Germany um, it's not the easiest of routes that you can uh, take so I still although the Netherlands being third I still would say that they are the awesome favorites to win this group maybe it's finished level with Germany and then we'll see what Northern, uh, if Northern Ireland can get a point from either one of the big boys and maybe puts edges them a little bit closer to qualifying. Group E had the early game um, between Azerbaijan and Croatia I saw a little bit of the second half uh, Croatia took the lead through a penalty and then Azerbaijan in almost a video game move uh, equalized. I mean, it, it, it really felt like the guy, I mean, he's slaloming through the Croatian uh, off a defense, but more stumbling and going through and suddenly he has a clear shot and can make it 1-1. Uh, there was, then uh, after, after was Croatia probably had a chance to make it 2-1, but in the end it was Azerbaijan who was more dangerous and they get their first point in this campaign. Uh, the other game was between Hungary and Slovakia, more or less a last chance for Slovakia, I would say. Uh, and they took an early, uh, a lead through Mack in a kind of so-and-so first half. Um, Hungary then equalized through a wonderful uh, free kick. Uh, let's pull it up through Schoboslai in the 50th and you thought now game on but Robert Bozenik in the 56th gets again the lead for uh, Slovakia and Slovakia hangs on to win it 
and that was a big one for them uh, because now they are overtaking Hungary uh, sitting now in ninth spot, uh, one point behind Croatia. Who, you know, this is definitely a point lost for them. Croatia now has the um, lead in the in the group at nine nine, and will six with a game less. This is a super 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 tight group, one that I almost don't dare calling. On honestly, I would say Croatia, but then it's one out of three between Slovakia, Hungary, and Wales. It might well be. Wales, Slovakia, I really cannot call that one. Uh, this is this is way too close for comfort. Now, Group G had a full slate of games, and really, the big game was of course Poland, Austria. And the biggest surprise to me is how Austria took the game to Poland. Poland, though, ceded possession to Austria and was defending super tightly. A surprising move to me because they are the home team and they are supposedly the better better team, but. It seemed to work in the sense that Poland, with very deep lying defense, uh, always pushed Austria to the outside. And unfortunately, our big stars Arnautovic and Alaba, as great of players as they are, they are also a little bit, how do we say in German, uh, Austrian, lessig, you know, uh, trying to do it with uh, just half an effort, uh, in the thinking that we are so good, we can just pass by like that. Especially Arnautovic, I have to blame for that one yesterday, big time. Because uh, with a little bit more seriousness and uh, oversight, he could have easily scored. He came close with a header against the crossbar early on. Austria... As I said, didn't create that many chances. And I think the biggest chance in the first half fell to Lewandowski, who had a free header uh, from the penalty spot. Um, there, they were lucky. Um, but again, if with a little bit quicker pass and you know go get get getting quicker to a shot, Austria probably should have taken the lead. They really dominated. I think they, at one point it was seventy percent uh, possession for Austria in that game. Uh, second half started out with Poland having actually pretty good chances, but then again, uh, the game kind of fell, fell asleep until Arnautovic header was really clear and stumbles and cannot make it. Um, in the end, you know, it was, was until the 85th, I think the game was kind, kind of asleep, then Poland came out again. Uh, but in the end, I again felt Austria could have won that, but just did not win this game. Um, was a weird one, to be honest. It was definitely a weird, uh, a, a weird one because from one side all the dominance and the ball control and really nice moves by Austria to get around but then in the end lacking the penetration and the drive towards goal. And for Poland they were sitting really nicely deep and actually could launch quite dangerous attacks and yeah. I don't want to admit it but probably, probably the nil-nil was a fair result. Um, a more interesting game was uh, Slovenia against Israel, where Slovenia took a lead uh, in the first half through uh, Verbić in the 43rd minute. Then after the half, Nacho with a wide range shot and an even better one by Sahavi in the 62nd, turned the game around in favor of Israel. However, Beziak, just uh, four minutes later, equalizes again for um, Slovenia and then both uh, teams went for the win. In the end, Verbić gets from a header the 3-2 and give Slovenia a huge win. A win uh, that I don't want to say puts um, Israel out of out of contention, but at least into trouble, and as we'll see, will boost Slovenia big time. Uh, in the third game of the group, Northern Macedonia had not much big problems winning 2-0 at Latvia. So now in the standings, we have Poland 13, Slovenia 11, Austria 10, Northern Macedonia 8, Israel 8. Again, a super tight group where everyone should have a chance. I a little bit lament that Austria lost now their second spot. However, they got the draw at the big boy in Poland. So, and now the next two rounds. First against Israel at home and then Slovenia away. I think that will decide Austria, Slovenia's and Israel's fate. Uh, Austria does have a slightly, uh, probably the easiest schedule in the November uh, games where they have Northern Macedonia at home and Latvia away. So, um, I think this round, the two games of Austria, will decide where this group is going. I am pretty confident about that. And then we'll finish off with Group I. Um, again, I'm wearing Belgium, Scotland annihilated. Uh, 
Belgium annihilated Scotland. Uh, it cannot be said any differently. Uh, De Bruyne making three assists in the first half uh, to Lukaku, Van Maal and Alderweireld before getting uh, in the 82nd uh, his uh, goal. Belgium stopped playing in the second half, otherwise this could have gotten ugly really, really quickly. Cyprus winning 4-0 at San Marino, that's not a big surprise, and then Russia wins 1-0 over Kazakhstan, meaning that this group is all but decided. Belgium uh, with 18 points, Russia with 15, those are the two that will go through. Kazakhstan, Cyprus 7, Scotland only 6, and San Marino 0. Um, you know, there is no playoff spot given there. Scotland has the playoff spot, Kazakhstan has, I uh, as far as I know, a playoff spot secured. We have to look into, into that. So, um, you know, I think that group we can already call Belgium and Russia being at the Euros next year. Well, that's it from me for today. Um, I know I wanted to do a short video. I have to see how it will go. Maybe I'll get to it uh, to in, in the afternoon and post it um, over, overnight. But let's see how it how things will be going. Uh, we have a few games today as well. But I, as far as and I remember, those were not all the great uh, games. Let's quickly have a look. Uh, England Kosovo kind of stands out a little bit. The rest: Albania, Iceland, Lithuania, Portugal, Luxembourg, Serbia. It's, you know, today is a little bit of a downer, but maybe I'll watch England Kosovo. That's one against two. The Kosovo is wearing a special jersey, so that's interesting too. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these or my collection, my jersey reviews, whatever you wish. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.